multiply the following and simplify the result. If we are asked to multiply two radicals with the same indices, the same index, we can rewrite it as a single radical with that index and multiply the radicands, the insides. So here we are asked to multiply the square root of 3a by the square root of 5b. Since they're both square roots, I can write that as a single square root of 3a times 5b. And so that's the square root of 15ab. Since there are no perfect square factors under the radical, that is simplified. Exercise b. We have the square root of 6m by the square root of 10m. So that's the square root of 6m times 10m, which is the square root of 60m squared. Now 60 has a perfect square factor and m squared is a perfect square. 60 is 4 times 15. So I'd have the square root of 4m squared by the square root of 15. And so that's 2m times the square root of 15. The cube root of 6a times the cube root of 15a squared. All right, same idea. Since they're both cube roots, I can write this as a cube root of 6a times 12a squared. So that's the cube root of 72a to the third. Now, we have to look for perfect cube factors. Well, a to the third is a perfect cube. And let's see, 72. 72 is 8 times 9. And 8's a perfect cube. So I'm going to rewrite this as the cube root of 8a cube times the cube root of 9. And so that would give me 2a times the cube root of 9. 